The setup of NEMA for third-party devices is also done through the GNSS tile. Press the GNSS tile and select Edit. On the top of the page, press the NEMA Messaging tab, then turn Messaging on. You should now see the settings to enable the messaging. The message rate is the frequency of the position information sent. This can be configured either in Hertz or second intervals. Next, you need to specify what port you are exporting the NEMA message from. When using a NAV500 or a NAV900 receiver, you can either output from the receiver itself or the diagnostics port of the NAV controller. If attempting to export NEMA from the XEN 2050 and TM200 controller, you can either select the output port as port A on the TM200 or the autopilot diagnostics port. However, if using a NAV3 or NAV2 controller, and autopilot, you are unable to export NEMA out of port A, as this serial port is dedicated to the NAV controller itself. Next, specify the rate on which you want the information to be communicated between the two devices. This is known as the board rate. This needs to match on both the display and the third party device receiving the NEMA messaging. You also have the option of setting the accuracy of the position sent. This is done by the position accuracy lat long. This specifies how many decimal places the position will be sent. The more decimal places, the higher the accuracy, 8 being the utmost accurate. The messaging selection option is where you can enable and disable specific NEMA messaging strings. The required strings to be enabled will be determined by the third party device you are connecting to and what it requires. A full description of each message can be found in the user manual. Once these settings have been complete, be sure to press the Save button to return to the main menu. Within the GNSS tile, you can visualise what NEMA messaging is turned on and what settings are enabled in the summary. 